This video demonstrates how to use Stata to construct least square estimates. As usual, let's start by setting the working directory. Set the path where the CPS data is stored. Next, open a do file editor. Clear the existing data and then load the CPS data. As in the previous videos, construct the wage from earnings, hours, and week. And then also construct the log wage. Today we are going to select a subsample of the data based on the years of experience. The years of experience can be inferred from the age and education and number six the age at which the compulsory education starts we then construct the selected subsample indicator which is the intersection of race equal to two and marital status less than or equal to two and the female indicator equal to one and the years of experience equals to 12. In short, we are interested in the married black females with 12 years of experience. Before obtaining the subsample, let's check the original sample size. So we have more than 5 million observations. Now let's drop all the observations that do not meet the above criteria. And then let's the sample size after dropping these observations. Now the size has reduced to 2000. With this subsample, let's compute the X and Y matrices. Stata is very different from R or MATLAB. However, we can insert the so called meta inside the stata. After this line of meta, we can insert the matrix programming, which is very much like R or MATLAB. We should insert the meta part inside the meta and end. First, I'm going to store the state variable of education in the matrix called X. We also store the sample size into the scalar variable called M, which is the number of rows of this X matrix. To include the intercept, we need to concatenate a column vector of ones to the matrix X. With the J function, we construct the n by 1 matrix of ones, and the column concatenation is done by the comma. This whole thing is now n by 1 matrix, which replaces the X. We next construct the n by 1 matrix Y of the log wages. Copy and paste the line for X. Replace x by y, and then education by the log wage. We next construct the x prime y and x prime x matrices. x prime times x. Let's check the values containing this 2 by 2 matrix and compare the values with those in the textbook. So these are the same numbers. We also check x prime y and also the inverse of x prime x. The matrix inverse is computed by the LUINV function. We now evaluate x prime x by this LUINV function. Let's compare the values containing all these matrices and compare them with those in the textbook. Here is x prime x, x prime y and the inverse of x prime x. We've now got all the ingredients to compute the least square estimates given by the inverse of x prime x times x prime y. We can again compare the values with the textbook. 
So this completes the replication of the textbook. We get the same values. Finally, let's try to compare our custom built estimates with the estimates of the regress command of Stata. Make sure to write this line outside of the meta. Observe that the Stata's regress outcomes are the same as our values.